Hi, I'm Kelly Sean. Welcome to our first installment of the National Community Transportation Association Rodeo uh, Talking Points. I'm sitting here with uh, Rich Sampson, who also works and coordinates the rodeo, along with the National Community Transportation Rodeo Committee, made up of members of transit systems and uh, safety personnel from around the country. Uh, we're here to talk to you for the first time about the rodeo and some of the aspects about it and why we think it's important event not only for the transit systems across the country but also as a national safety event that uh, transit systems can buy into and realize the impacts of safety training through this event. So uh, we're going to give you just kind of some brief history and talk to you about the rodeo in this first installment. This is one of six installments where we'll be providing information about the rodeo. Which will uh, also come out in our bi-weekly fast mail, Kelly. That's right, Rich. Thank you very much. Um, uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the National Community Transportation Rodeo, it's an event that's gone on for, this is our, what year, Rich? 24th, Kelly. 24th year, yes. So it's been going on since 1990. Uh, it is started out originally with two 15-passenger vans. They were rented from a rental car company, and a course was developed to drive the vans through this event, as well as uh, there was no wheelchair securement at that time, but I believe pre-trip inspection and a test. But we'll get into the different aspects of that further. Um, the uh, participation is made up of judges, which judge the course, as well as drivers from all across the North America. We've had participants from Canada, uh, Hawaii, and Alaska, so all aspects of North America come to this event uh, to showcase the talents of their drivers uh, in, in the event. And it is uh, a time that is good for all, including judges, managers. Um, the event usually has close to 85 to 100 competitors and close to 100 judges. Uh, the competitors made up of drivers and op professional operators from around the country, including uh, mass transit systems, whether it's uh, Atlanta, Houston, uh, some of the larger urban systems, or some of the rural systems in the middle of Nebraska or uh, Arkansas or, or other states. Um, so we encourage you to participate in this one way or another. Uh, if, if you don't have a rodeo in your state, like some do, don't, uh, then please participate as judge. Uh, we've got transit managers, consultants, state DOTs, uh, FTA officials, all out there judging and playing a role in this event. So uh, we welcome everyone. Um, so. With that, I will uh, turn it over to Rich to talk a little bit about some of the elements of the rodeo. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, there's essentially four basic elements that comprise the annual rodeo. Uh, most notably, people think of the rodeo as a driving course, which is a series of obstacles where drivers in vans and buses make their way through a series of cones and barriers to prove their driving acumen. But that's preceded by a uh, written test on Saturday night, the day before the rodeo, where uh, drivers take a, a test of 125 multiple choice questions. That uh, comprises their score along with the wheelchair securement and pre-trip inspection portions that Kelly already talked about. Uh, those are the more customer service focused elements of the competition and really demonstrate how our drivers uh, interact with uh, passengers on a regular basis. This year also uh, we're, we're dividing the rodeo into three different divisions. Previously we've had two, the body on chassis or cutaway bus division and the 15 passenger van division. This year we're adding a third division which is minivans and smaller sedans uh, that are becoming more and more popular across the industry. So those three levels of uh, three divisions of competition will be a unique, uh, unique element for this year's rodeo and we're trying to be more reflective of what's going on throughout the industry. And now I'm going to have Kelly come back a little bit to talk about how the rodeo is an annual safety event. Thank you, Rich. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, the rodeo is a safety-oriented event. 
Um, we take it very seriously and expect all the participants to take it seriously. Um, some of the areas of safety that are covered in this event are wheelchair securement as well as uh, the use of wheelchair ramps or lifts uh, and the proper use of those. Uh, we have training as part of the rodeo before uh, the event takes place to help explain the proper use of lifts, wheelchair securements, uh, also discussion on pre-trip uh, pre inspections. Uh, every transit system should be doing a pre-trip inspection and we try to emphasize some of the finer points of doing that effectively. As we know, that helps reduce costs through preventive maintenance as our drivers are our first line of determining if there's an issue with the vehicle that could jeopardize the safety. So we try to pride ourselves on the focus on safety, uh, but also customer service. This event has a customer service element as part of the wheelchair securement, um, as part of the driving course. Uh, so we, we look at all aspects of the daily life of our professional operators. We um, hope that uh, this event will bring attention to what our drivers do on a daily basis and the importance of them to connect people to health care, to employment, uh, to social events, to doctor's appointments. So all of these aspects are an important uh, part of this rodeo and many of our drivers transport people uh, who might need additional assistance. So to do that properly uh, we provide this event and training to go along with it. Um, also, as part of this event, we're going to have an exercise in distracted driving. As you know, distracted driving has become a, a large issue in this country with drivers, but also with transit drivers. What form of communication do you use? Have you got safety aspects in place, policies and procedures in place, and how to use that? We're going to look at all of those aspects and do an, an exercise uh, during the course of the rodeo day and, and show folks how uh, problematic uh, distracted driving can be, not only for the driver of our transit vehicles, but for also other drivers of the automobiles, uh, things to look out for. So we're going to look at some of those aspects during this year's rodeo as well. And Rich, in fact, is going to get, give you some more details about this year's rodeo and some of the aspects. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, in addition to the distracted driving uh, element, which will be new, and the introduction of the minivan division, uh, we're going to be in Albuquerque, New Mexico, June 1st and 2nd. Um, and stay tuned very soon over the next coming weeks and months for some details on the rodeo site and some of the other uh, elements of this year's event. Um, in the meantime, please go to www.ctaa.org backslash expo to register as both a driver or a judge. That's open right now, so you can get registered, and there's forms and phone numbers to contact with any questions. So we're looking forward to seeing everybody out in Albuquerque June 1st and 2nd for the 24th Annual Community Transportation Rodeo. And stay tuned to FastVail and the CTA website for more videos like this every couple weeks. Thank you, Kelly, and we'll tune in Thank next time. Thank you, Rich. Take care.